Mr. Ambassador, Tyler, sir, NBC. Would you give us a statement for a delayed telecast to the state, sir? I'm sorry, Mr. Tyler. I have uh, no statement to make this time. The word is out, Mr. Ambassador. The word is out that De Jong has been killed. Is that true? Yes, that's true. We going to lose this country, sir? Well, we never had this country. But this yeah. Mr. Ambassador, Ambassador, who killed De Jong? The uh, communists. The communists killed De Jong and uh, misunderstanding. Now, if you'll excuse me, I... I've had a very difficult day, and I... Mr. Ambassador, Mr. Ambassador, one more picture. A couple of hours ago, Senator Brenner called your tenure here a total failure. Would you agree with that? Yes, uh, it certainly was a partial failure, Mr. Tyler. When I, uh, when I said that the misunderstanding of Gil de Jong, if I meant my own misunderstanding. See, Young had a kind of passion that maybe all revolutionaries have. It's kind of a feeling that uh, it's easy for us to misinterpret. We forget that the men who started our country had that same kind of passion that De Jong had and that these other new leaders have. And unless we recognize their fight for independence to be part of our own, then we we drive them to seek understanding in some other place. Are you saying that America is losing the Cold War because we're pushing these countries into the hands of the communists? I'm not saying that. I'm saying we can't hope to win the Cold War unless we, we remember what we're for as well as uh, what we're against. I've learned in a very personal way, Mr. Tyler, that I can't preach the American heritage and expect to be believed if I act out of impatience or sacrifice my principles for expediency. I've learned that the only time we're hated is when we stop trying to be what we started out to be 200 years ago. Now, I'm, I'm not blaming my country. I'm blaming the indifference that some of us show to its promises. If the Cold War disappeared right now, the American people would still be in this fight against ignorance and hunger and disease because it's right. It's right to be in it. And if I had one appeal to make to every American, it would be that 